podcasting from Pier 2 at Brooklyn Bridge Park in Brooklyn, New York. This is the Brooklyn Baritone Podcast. Good morning. Well, for me, it's good morning. Again, whenever you choose to listen to this morning, afternoon, evening, nighttime, I always appreciate the listens, the supports, and the looks. And while you're looking on my YouTube channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Fantastic day to talk about some important things out today, people. So I said I'm here in Pier 2, Brooklyn Bridge Park. Beautiful, beautiful use of taxpayer money for people to have good recreational time with each other. You can hear people playing basketball in the background, people around here running around, or just coming out here to enjoy the breeze from the river right here behind me. Well, you can see that this thing here was apparently planned. It was planned and it was designed for recreational use. Just like much of the other structures in the city here, buildings, even the parks with the trees, the way commerce is done, everything is by design. So that's going to be basically the backbone of what I'm talking about. Everything is about design. It's all about design. When you have to look at everything, how everyone is so riled up all the time, um, there was always something that somebody somewhere was riled up about. Uh, it could be unfair treatment. They wanted more or whatever the case was, whether it was money, politics, it's usually money and politics involved. We always have to look at the bigger picture and not just have our eyes on the ground, but we have to pick our heads up at times and look at everything for what it is and see the bigger picture. Utilize the eyes and the brains that we've been blessed with to really take stock of all these things. I've heard in the past that uh, detectives can't look at anything as coincidence whenever they're trying to break down a crime scene. They have to have a pair of eyes on to see that everything is connected in one way, shape, or form, or have been planned out. So when we look at how fragile we've become, especially this country, the world over, but this country in America, especially as of late in the past few years, few decades, which has been more than that, so many things that we see and experience today is based specifically off of the design that's been allowed to carry out its, I guess, intentions from the beginning. We always have to look at the world. I'm going to start off with the world, trees, the air, the water, us, the animals. And then when we look at us, look at yourself. One of the simplest things you can do to see that there's order and a design is look in the mirror. We all have symmetry. Majority of the people are born I guess except the people who are born with deformities. Majority of the people have symmetry. May not be exactly perfect, given our current condition as a human race. But you look straight down the middle. We got two eyes, both sides symmetrical. Nostrils and the lips are symmetrical. Our face, our skull, got two ears that do exactly the same thing as on opposite sides of the face. Go further down, two arms with the digits and everything. We have two legs and everything else with the digits as well. Um, You know, two butt cheeks, all those things. These things don't just happen out of thin air and then continue to replicate itself successfully with billions of people who have been on this planet. That's design. It's design with functionality in a manner. Same thing with the trees. How the trees correspond to our existence with um, taking in CO2 and giving us back oxygen and cleaning the air as well, and how the birds correspond to the air, how they're designed to fly in the air. You understand my drift. And then we look at what we've done. We have governments in place. We have architecture, just like this pier, like I said earlier. So much things, if you just take the time to look at the bigger picture, And many of us have to learn how to get out of our own feelings and utilize logic. We have to make sure that we look up and see, you know, there's things that I have going on in my life that has been, you could say, of design. Because you can plan to fail by not planning accordingly. 
So it may not be a desirable design. People may argue that now, you know, design takes thought and deliberate attempt. Well, when you don't plan for things, that is actually a deliberate attempt. So when things don't go according to what you want, and if you didn't put the uh, the actual time and resources and thought that you need for it, well, things are going to flop. You're going to have uh, effects that may be desirable or not. You may be successful. You may have a house when you want to. You may not have a house when you want to. You may have children when you didn't really want to have children. You weren't prepared. But, you know, if if you were having sexual intercourse, that's the one thing that you need to do to have kids. And so many people act surprised when they're like, I can't believe I got pregnant. I can't believe you got pregnant. Well, if you were having sex, then, you know, that's a definite result that can happen. So it going further into does not individualize, but, you know, communally, all of us together, we have to realize um, things that people are angry about and people are worked up about is by design. You could take, for instance, many desirable neighborhoods here in New York City, I'm talking with a good friend of mine, and we pointed out that most desirable places have an abundance of trees or a good liberal amount of trees in the area in the neighborhood it's good for the color good for that for the eyesight it's like you know really pleasing to see it's great for the air quality and it just is something about that piece of nature among our structures and buildings it just gives you a relaxing feel now you go to less desirable areas in the city you find that there are lacking amount of trees there are trees in certain pockets, maybe some parks here and there, but then like compared to the desirable areas where trees are littering blocks all up and down, you go to undesirable places, you hardly find any trees. That's by design. And these are some of the nuances that we have to take stock in and actually look at and pay attention to. These are the things that will allow us to have a certain state of mind of how we live, how we treat our environments around us, how our attitudes are. We take too much for granted by not actually looking at everything for what it really is. The problem is that so much of us have been trained to have less mental strength than we were meant to have. There's some people who can be grown up and come up in poverty and adversity and they make it. They pull themselves up. They have the mindset and the focus and the consistent effort to make sure that they have goals and they go forward and meet those goals. They get that house. They own that business. They move out from negative environments. They go get their education. Whatever it is that they need to do to elevate themselves and others around them, they stay focused to do it regardless of where they came from. But then we have so much of us now who have these factors around us, these factors that influence our minds, that influence our opinions, that influence our our even moods. So many people are not able to recognize that and have the mental fortitude to come past that. And this is where you get so much of the people who stay at the bar or even below the bar of being someone of more substance that they that they are so so many people are angry about things well you know a lot of things came up from history and rightfully so again i've covered this so much times in other podcasts where people when people learn real history and learn that they've been deliberately taught well of course their trust has been abused so rightfully so justifiably so when people start to find out the truth about certain things and know it's been less than stellar People deserve the right to be angry, but then again, you cannot stay angry and you cannot let your surroundings, even though things may have been designed specifically with certain things to have you feel and see and act a certain way. We're going to have to actually take stock and responsibility to come past all of that. So when we break down that things have been designed, when we can actually accept that and identify many things have been designed. Now we have to see why, what was the intent of it being designed in a certain manner. And then when we could find out the intent of why certain things were designed in a certain manner, we have to find out who did it. What was their motive? Same thing when we look at all of creation. Some people may not want to accept it. Some people do accept it and understand it. 
Elohim made so much things for us, but we, in our limited mindset, didn't have the mental fortitude to actually see what it was. Most, a lot of us can, and we make the most of our lives. And then at the same time, we look at what Elohim made, which is for productive creating and multiplying and actually helping everyone else be their best version of themselves. Then we have other people who may want to design things specifically for destruction, for oppression, to generate chaos. So we all have to get our own heads from between our own butt cheeks, our two symmetrical butt cheeks, and look up and look around and take stock. Yeah, you can have feelings, you can be angry, but don't stay there. Do not use those those angry feelings to fuel your actions because you're gonna bring nothing but more destruction and you're gonna be the designer of your own and other people's destruction. Do you really want that on your conscience when everything is said and done? Well, that's all I have for the day. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for sticking out this long. You can always catch my content on my website at www.brooklynbaritone.com. I am also on YouTube, yes, YouTube, where you need to look and subscribe and hit the notification button for all my new content and podcasts. I am also on LinkedIn under Corey Ashley. I am also on Instagram and I'm on Facebook. You can catch me in the Google Play Store, the Apple iTunes, Play Store and also now Amazon Podcast. Yes, I'm on Amazon Podcast, y'all. So check me out on all those platforms. Um, if anything, be blessed. Watch yourselves out there. Make sure you look at the bigger picture. All right. Well, you know, again, I'm out. You will hear from me next week. Love the world. Be good.